Welcome to Stare at Your Posts, prayers and devotionals, encouragement for my brothers who are kings. Today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 2, 13, King James. Who leave the path of uprightness to walk in the way of darkness? Stay on the path. Sometimes you will be tempted to take the easy way out of situations, even though you know that's not what God has called you to do. You will be tempted to take the obvious open door rather than wait for what the Father has planned for you. I'm sure Saul wanted to be a good king who honored God. However, he thought he could do so on his own terms rather than the Lord's. For example, God told Saul, I will punish Almec for what he did to Israel. How he set himself against him on the way while he was coming up from Egypt. Now go and strike Almec and utterly destroy all that he has and do not spare him. 1 Samuel 15, 2-3 Saul complied with the Lord's command and headed into battle. However, he failed to obey God fully. 1 Samuel 15.9 reports that Saul and his men spared the Amalekite king and the best of the sheep, the oxen, the fatling lambs, and all that was good and were not willing to destroy them utterly. Saul tried to justify his actions by saying he saved those spoils as a sacrifice to the Lord. But it was not obedience that motivated Saul. It was pride and it resulted in being cut off from the kingdom. 1 Samuel chapter 15, 23 to 29. You can read it on your own time. Brothers. Partial obedience is disobedience, and there is never an excuse for it in the eyes of God. Whatever goal the Lord has placed before you, He has a way for you to achieve it. Don't take the shortcut or wander from His path. Instead, ask Him for wisdom and strength so you can accomplish the goals completely and obediently because then you will certainly receive the reward he has planned for you. Let us pray. Father, thank you for warning my brothers against the shortcuts. I pray that you will help them to be obedient completely in Jesus' name, amen. Brothers, you are a king. Stay at your post. Walk and live in victory. Blessings.